In this tutorial, we're going to use some Velostat, some conductive fabric, and we're going to make a digital switch. And digital just means on and off. So if you think of a light switch, you turn the lights on, you turn the lights off, that means it's digital. We're using the term to mean that it only has two states, on, off. So in the next tutorial, you'll learn how to make an analog switch, which is like a slider that makes transitions. So the, the other thing we're looking at is the conductive materials. I've got copper tape. So I've got a circuit built out of copper tape. We're going to look at how to make the switch in a second. And it's a very simple circuit. The electricity runs through the copper tape. There's a 100 ohm resistor here and there's an LED. And so if I put a ground wire on the resistor there, and if I put 5 volts of power into the circuit, I can light up the LED. And what's missing is we need a switch. We want to be able to turn it on and off. And using conductive fabric, it means that you can do wearables, you can do um, toys, you can, you can make a switch and a soft circuit that, you know, uh, with non-traditional materials, you can start building your circuits. So if we have two pieces of conductive fabric, when they touch, they're going to be, they're going to, um, electricity will flow through them. And if we have one piece of Velostat, it will stop the electricity. So imagine that we make these materials put into layers, which in the, uh, the worksheets for project one, there's a diagram of this. So we're layering conductive fabric, Velostat, and no electricity would get through unless you squeeze really hard. So if we put, if we cut out a circle in the Velostat, and then you have a layer of conductive fabric here, and you have another one on top, when I put my finger on the hole, it's going to close the circuit, turn the light on. So if we take the piece of conductive fabric and then add a piece of tape to it, we can construct a digital switch something like this. So if I attach it all together, okay, I'm going to be able to touch this, turn on the light. That's my goal. So one thing you have to keep in mind, the Velostat is non-conductive, and so you want the Velostat to be bigger than the conductive fabric, because if the conductive fabric touches at any point, it's going to not work as a switch. Okay, so make sure that you've got a big piece of Velostat covering the conductive fabric. Okay, and then when you put it together as well, sometimes it isn't going to work just with one layer of Velostat. And so what I'm putting in here is another layer of just plain old cardboard. And what that's going to do is it's going to give it some more height in that layer so that when the two pieces of conductive fabric come together, there's more space there. Because if they're really close, they, they start jumping and then the switch doesn't work. And this is something you're going to experiment with, play around with it. And you can get it to work pretty easily. So basically, I'm just going to sandwich all this together with a paper clip right now to demo. You can tape it together with scotch tape, electrical tape, you can glue it together. You can experiment with all the different ways to craft this stuff and fabricate. So now what I've done is hooked up the power on this part of the circuit, I've hooked up the ground on, it's just easy to clip it onto the, uh, onto the resistor, but it should work there as well. So now when I press, I close the circuit and I turn on the LED. So super simple, using conductive materials and 
That keep in mind that when I show you these demos, I'm making a rectangle. I'm making a rectangle here for the button, but you can make any shape you want, any size, any shape. You can incorporate this into any kind of soft circuit that you're going to build. So that's using the velostat and the conductive fabric in a very simple way because it's just an og on off. So you can imagine incorporating this into a piece of clothing, um, a hat, a bicycle, whatever, and you, it, it just becomes an area where you touch it and you close the circuit with two pieces of conductive fabric and you make it work. So you can experiment with all kinds of different configurations, shapes, materials, all kinds of stuff.